What is up you guys? Avery here. Wanted to bring you guys an updated Trickstar build for the February 2018 format with the new ban list now here. I wanted to bring you guys an updated version of my deck list. My build has always been very different from other people's builds. We saw last format how people were playing Triple Grinder Golem and GoFu and stuff like that. Whereas when I came in 18th place at the uh, Orlando Regional at the beginning of this regional season, I was playing things like Chain Summoning, I was playing things like 2 Blazing and 1 Storming because I didn't have 3 Blazing and it worked out in my favor. So I wanted to bring another deck list I guess of that version to you guys and honestly I wanted to get some advice on because honestly I'm stumped on a lot of stuff there are a lot of things that I want to make changes to this if I had the cards such as evenly matched and ash blossom and whatnot and I am going to be going through that with this deck so I do want to say at the beginning of this video that please keep in mind that this deck or I should say this build is meant to be experimented on uh, at the time of me recording this video I checked earlier this morning and there was nobody on YouTube talking about an updated Trickstar deck and as of right now this seems to be the best deck of the format since Pendulums got hit hard and Spiral got hit a little bit um, so everything for Trickstar has been going up last time I checked light stages were five dollars reincarnations were about 34 35 bucks uh, I held on to my Trickstar stuff just to kind of wait out the format and see what would happen on this ban list. And uh, we happened to get, you know, a, a very, very good list. I'm very happy with it. We got Solemn Strike and Monster Born and all that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the deck. Again, keep in mind that this is a fairly new build. It's fairly experimental, but it's very similar to the build that I came in 18th place with in Orlando, Florida. If you have not seen that deck list, please go on my channel and find it. Um, it's just under 18th place regional deck profile. You'll be able to find it easily. Um, so without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. Again, I want some feedback on this, you guys, because this is a work in progress. Um, so, yeah. So um, there are many things that have not changed. There are some things that have changed, of course, with the new list. We're still playing three Candina. We're still playing three like risk. Everybody knows what these cards do at this point. Unlike when I topped at the regional, nobody knew what these cards did. I think that everything that's in this deck should be pretty standard at this point. Like risk burns, Candina is your Stratos. We're still playing one Lily Bell. I feel like playing two or three can just be a little bit bricky. She's got a 2,000 ass. She can attack directly. I mean, I have really only found myself needing one. Now, I was playing three Ghost Ogre because I did sell my two Ghost Ash a while back. Um, but now I have cut it down to two Ghost Ogre because originally it was a 41 card deck and I felt like I was just drawing uh, too many monsters. I was drawing too many hand traps. With the format being slower now, I feel like Ghost Ogre and other hand traps are going to take a little bit of a backseat. They're not going to be as necessary to be playing in this format, especially with Solemn Judgment and all that being back. Um, and also us getting Designator from the Grave, I think that Hand Traps are going to be a little bit hurt by that. So right now, two Ghost Ogres seems to be testing well. I am also still playing the three Droll and Lock Bird for the Droll and Lock loop, or the Droll and Lock combo, I should say. Um, just because of the fact that it is such a good lock. You know, I'm not relying on my deck to do it, just if it does do it, then great. If it doesn't, well, I've got a card that doesn't let you search. So it's kind of a win-win either way. So I feel like this hand trap lineup is good. Um, of course, I'm open to uh, suggestions. Like I said, I sold my two Ash Blossoms. If you have Ash Blossoms, definitely throw them in the uh, in this deck um, because I was originally playing one Maxi, and of course, now that Maxi is banned, we aren't able to do that. And then, of course, we're still playing the three Ghost Rare Beautiful Smexy Vexy Honests. Um, a lot of people took these out because they were playing Grinder Golems and one Gofu. I've always loved Honest, not just because of the fact that I have Ghost Rares, or just because I feel that the card is just so, so, so good. I feel that you just have to play Honest. Um, so that is definitely something I would want to change in this particular build. Going on to the spells, we have three Trickstar Light Stage. It's obvious. Three Terraforming because we have a Field Spell. Three Chain Summoning. I feel like I want to take this out. Um, because of the fact that it just seems to be very inconsistent. I feel like I would rather have evenly matched in here if I had copies of evenly matched. If you have evenly matched, I would definitely recommend throwing these into the main deck or side deck, or even just taking out the chain summonings and upping your trap count by three um, in order to be able to play evenly matched because it's so good going second. And uh, with Solemn Judge running around, you almost might be kind of forced to run it. But um, I am still going with this build. It's 
you know, it still does what it needs to do. You're still able to, you're still able to get your cute combos off. I think that this was better back when I topped with Trick Stars because of the fact that nobody really knew what the deck did. They weren't very familiar with it, so it pants a lot of people. Being able to use Chain Summoning threw a lot of people off, and so I was able to take advantage of that. Now that everybody knows what Trick Stars do, I'm not really able to take advantage of that as well. So that's just one of those things. I only have one Cosmic Cyclone, so that's why I'm playing one MST and one Cosmic. If you have two Cosmic, play two Cosmic. If you prefer two MST, play two MST. I originally played two MST. It accomplishes the same thing. I'm still messing around with this. Um, Cosmic's good just because it actually banishes the card. MST just pops it. It's really whatever you prefer. I'm probably going to end up playing two Cosmics, but right now we're just playing two Cosmic Cyclone. And we are playing only two Duality. Uh, I mentioned in my regional top that I understand why Desires is good in this particular build. I feel that duality is just better. Then we're playing one Raigeki, one Monster Reborn. I'm so glad that this is back. It's so freaking good. This is an automatic staple, along with Dark Hole as well. For the traps, we're playing one Storming Mirror Force, two Blazing. This can be three Blazing, or whichever you decided to be. Again, like I said, I tried to mimic this build um, close to my original regional top build, so that's why a lot of these things are very off-the-wall choices. And then, of course, we're playing the three Reincarnation, and then we're playing the Solemn Brigade of one Strike, one Warning, one Judgment. This is my choice because of the fact that no matter what order you activate your Solemns in, you're always going to be able to activate, uh, all three of them. If you activate Judgment, you'll go down to four. If you activate Warning, you'll go down to 2,000. If you activate Strike, you'll go down to 1,500. No matter what order you activate these in, they're always going to be live. They're never going to be dead. And then moving on to the extra deck, not much has really changed too. We're playing one Firewall, one Top of Logic, one Akashic, one Holly Angel, one Proxy Dragon, one Decode, one Trigate, one Black Rose, one Omega, one Trish, one Baguska, one Castell, one Tsukiyomi, one Cowboy, and one Abyss Dweller. The extra deck is not used very much in this particular build, so really the extra deck can be just whatever you want it to be. This is just what I've been running with for a while, but really the only things I make in this extra deck are really Holly Angel and maybe a Synchro, but even then I really only make Holly Angel. So that is it for the deck profile. You guys, again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I want to get some feedback on this deck because, like I said, at the time of me making this video, no one else has posted a Trickstar deck profile for the new ban list. So I feel like that this is something that many of you guys would enjoy um, and be able to kind of have a blueprint moving forward. You know, I want to help the community, you know, have something to go by. And I feel like my particular build when I topped with Trickstar, I was one of the first people next with next to Michael State who topped with Trickstar. However, when Michael State first topped with Trickstar, he was playing the Invoke build. I was the first person um, when Trickstar came out to actually top with a pure Trickstar deck, not playing another engine. So I really do take a lot of pride in that. I take pride in the fact that I, I feel like I know very well how to play this deck. So I really do want to get some feedback from the community. I want to know how to be able to make this deck better and be able to bring you guys even better content. So thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already.